Hello everyone, Donnie Gladfelter from the CAD Geek, sharing with you one of my favorite new features inside of AutoCAD 2012, and that is the Autodesk Content Explorer. Now I have to admit, when I first took a look at this new feature, I thought, wow, this is nothing more than Design Center with a user interface that I don't care for all that much. However, naturally after exploring it quite a bit, I found that it quickly became one of my favorite new features and naturally the user interface fell into place for me as well. And so with that, let's go ahead and check it out inside of AutoCAD. So inside of AutoCAD, if I move over to the new plugins ribbon tab, I'm going to find a content panel and then the content explorer tool right here. So when I click on this tool, it's going to open up a new palette called Content Explorer. Now, as you can see, it displays a series of folders. These are my watched folders. I can add any folder on my personal computer um, to that watched folder list. And once Autodesk has indexed that or AutoCAD has indexed it, I can browse these in much the same way as I would just the regular old design center, finding blocks and layers and um, text styles, the various components that I would expect to find inside of Design Center. However, where I really think the Content Explorer becomes a, an incredible feature is with the nice search bar that we have up here at the top. So in this case, maybe I wanna insert, I don't know, maybe a north arrow into my drawing. If I type in the search term north, it's going to search all of those drawings for any instance of the word north. So here I have some block references, I have some blocks here as well. Um, here I have several files that have that or have North mentioned in them. I also have some layers, um, a text style, again, any and everything that references the word North. However, in this case, all I want to do is just insert maybe this North arrow block. I can just right click, insert this guy. And there you can see I brought it into this drawing very quickly and easily. So that's one thing I really like about the Content Explorer. It allows me to locate layers, text, blocks, those type of things very quickly with just a very intuitive search string. However, another thing that I really, really like about Content Explorer is that I can search for text inside of drawings. And so in this case, I know I had the term benchmark in one of my drawings. So I'm just gonna go ahead and execute that search. And as you can see, it found some files that have the term benchmark in it somewhere. And then it also found that instance inside of the drawing itself. So here's that existing conditions plan. And it's found two instances of the term benchmark inside of that drawing. They're both inside of this multi-line text object. Now, if I right click on any one of these, I'll get the option here to open and zoom. So what that's going to do is open up that existing conditions drawing file. And most importantly, it's gonna zoom me into the location where that text is found. So again, you can definitely start um, recognizing the uses for this feature in the sense that I can, if I have owner names on a drawing, I can quickly type in those owner names, zoom directly to that parcel. Maybe I'm looking for a specific type of equipment and an MEP plan, whatever the case might be, this is an incredible tool being able not only to search for blocks and text in the similar context of Design Center, but also being able to find text within drawings. So there you have it, a quick look once again at one of my favorite new features, which is the Autodesk Content Explorer. I invite you to join me over at thecadgeek.com for many more tips and tricks just like this one.